clearly it's not a side trail it is trail trail it's not even the trail it's trail all right let's see i feel like it's gonna be short and i, and I feel like something's gonna be waiting to let's eat see. us I think yes. it's like a far side cartoon, and John. It's Trail, not. we go, and then there we be eaten, you know. Big dinosaur around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today's trail is in Altadena. That's really north of Pasadena and north of the 210 freeway, as west of the 605, and east of where the 134 ends, right there. So you'll take Lake Avenue off of the 210. You'll take that north until it dead ends right at the top here. The trail starts right at the top over here, and you can get your parking right on this side over here and a little over there. Came all the way up. It looks like we're at the top. We're at the top here. We're going up to Echo Canyon. Mm -hmm. We may be at the top vehicle-wise. Right. But we have feet, and we will walk further. Oh, far out, and man. Don't walk in that, though. Dope. Okay, the trail is an up and back, steep uphill, a lot of switchbacks, and then downhill, just as steep, by the way. That's about three miles each way, almost six miles total. This is the Cobb Estate. So they say. In case you're wondering what the Cobb Estate is, it's a quiet refuge for people and wildlife forever. Couldn't forever. hear you over. Couldn't hear you over the cars, John. What'd you say? It's a quiet <laughs> refuge. <laughs> Don't forget, you want to leave the paved trail here and head off to the right. Otherwise, you're going to go up here and be bored. We have no idea where that goes, Jim. All right. This goes to awesomeness here. So no matter what, take that trail. Yeah, we had our little moment of levity earlier about this sign, but it's really a, a valid marker here. You need to go that way and then take the far right trail. All right, do not disobey us. No. Kind of peered out. Are we on the trail? Are we not on the trail? There's a, there might be the problem that we were talking instead of paying attention to where the hell we were going. <laughs> that could be. Maybe we're supposed to I'm surprised we, we, we don't die more often. <laughs> Jim, there's a uh, special wilderness emergency number. Oh, yeah. It's 911. Whoa, 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 whoa. 911, okay, Jim. That's different than 911, right? It, this is for wilderness emergency. What What don't you understand? <laughs> oh, Jimmy, we really lucked out. We got here on what is basically a crystal clear day here in Altadena. Yeah, let's see. If you look out that way, you can see... Um, well, nothing out that way. But if you look out... Uh, and you know the ocean is right out there past all the smog and shit is that the atlantic or pacific it, I, I don't know which direction i'm facing right now it's so smoggy out here i have no idea john you saw it i saw it did you see what i saw i saw what you saw there's a guy jogging with not a sure what i saw a dog muzzle on his face and a and a did you see that guy his neck you yeah, saw that right are there bodies up here that we need to be aware yeah, of or? Be hey, exactly. are we gonna <laughs> I think he's going. Because the only thing, the only thing missing was the bloody machete. <laughs> it's one of the props from Tom Cruise's version of War of the Worlds. Oh, right here. Oh, no wonder I felt like some microwave bacon. To, yeah. My skin was starting to sizzle a little bit. Looks tall now. Imagine how tall it looked when he was standing. Up. Hey. Were you, Johnny, don't tell me, you were afraid to touch this because you thought it was going to well, be electric. In my defense, I tried to change a light bulb in my microwave yesterday <laughs> and got the crap zapped out of me. Because, <laughs> hey folks, unplug those microwaves if you're doing any kind of work like that. <laughs> but uh, don't be afraid to tinker around in that microwave, Johnny. Never be afraid. Get a good hammer and knock it around a little bit. Johnny, my theory is that that group of people we just passed? Yeah. Hike with a trained bird that follows them. I'm sure, was it Tinkerbell? It's kind of a brownish, black Tinkerbell. And I don't think Disney allows that. No, they... she was written out. Yeah. She's passing a lot of hikers yeah, now. A lot, right. of, a lot of traffic on this trail. Right. This woman that we just passed was picking a bunch of wild sage. Huh. She's apparently going to smudge the entire canyon to rid it of evil spirits. Right. Really? So. Or she's it's... making a turkey this weekend. No, 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 no. Oh. Pay attention, I know. That's called uh, trail blindness, John. It's like white line fever. Yeah, you really do. You get tunnel vision. Right. And then boom, off the cliff. Yeah. Right, what did that ranger say? Well, the ranger said uh, that when it's all said and done, he's going to have done 13 miles today hiking. Right, exactly. And your point was? Is that it's a, it, that's a trail number. It's actually nine. Nine miles, like yeah. fishing. Fishing. You exaggerate. Should have seen that. Trail I caught. Yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker? L.A. Road Crew? Screaming tree? Screaming trees. There it is. What is it? It's small. 
just flittered up a little bit further in the tree. There it goes. Oh. And then you get to this spot here and you go off to the left. There are three trails that go up that way. We can go off to the right and it says to Echo Mountain. And we're assuming that's the way that we're going to head, right? Right. Right. Uh, correct. As in <laughs> right and correct. Both. Thank you, Abbott. <laughs> so if you can get to Mount Wilson from here, shouldn't we, shouldn't we be able to see all of the radio towers and everything? They probably are beyond. That? No, the, I believe they're retractable now, John. Ah, they bring them down for inflatable. cleaning. They're inflatable. Yeah. Now, there were signs back there saying that this is the end of the line for the Mount Lowell Railway. John, I'm just not seeing anything here I that says railway do. to me. How could they possibly? Oh, we're being this attacked. Crazy. What did you just say, Hulhauser? <laughs> Under the trees, <laughs> there's a picnic area. Oh. Now, I don't know if that's naturally occurring <laughs> or if the folks who take care of this area put those there. Johnny, this is obviously the oven where they cooked all the Sasquatch they used all to eat. All of the uh, wild Sasquatch, not the domesticated Sasquatch. Right, that's why they were gone. They those were hard workers. Cooked, to, keep to, them around. cooked to extinction. That's right. Oh, hippies were here. Hippies. Damn it. Oh, you know the hippies had a field day up here in oh, the 70s. Oh, man. Trail dummies! Look self-satisfied at me. It's uh, Echo Phone. Um, uh, it's now, free. Do you think there's another one on the other side of the canyon? There's Actually, there's probably like two dudes with a microphone back there. <laughs> one guy stands here, tells the other guy what's going on over there, and then he screams it back. <laughs> They do it at the Halloween house down the street from me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is where uh, the lions uh, and they would uh, feed they the Christians. The Christians, yeah. Right, exactly. There's, there's never too many ways to get rid of Christians. Or back in 1900s, it was uh, the Chinese and Italians, yeah. I believe, yeah. instead. Irish. No, Irish. They hated the Irish. Yeah, Irish. <laughs> they drank everything. There was nothing left for anyone else. <laughs> McDougal in the pit. <laughs> Johnny, that seems like more than two and a half miles, right? It sure does. You take a look at it and... Uh... A lot of elevation and a lot of uh, mileage, it seems like. More than two and a half, as you just said. Right. So Repeating I, now. I think we're more spectacular than uh, people might give us credit for. I think so. We might be two and three quarter miles spectacular. <laughs> this trail, Jim, uh, could benefit from a zip line. Well, I think most trails could benefit most from a zip line. Most trails could, but this one in particular. Because if you knew that at the top of this trail, at Echo House, you were going to zip line down back to your car and be there in like... Four minutes, ten seconds. You wouldn't be able to get on this trail on a weekend. Wow. Jim, Echo Canyon. Oh, it's Echo Canyon Trail, five and a half up and down. It's pretty yeah. cool. A bunch of ruins up there and uh, uh, Echo Horn you can the shoot into. The Echo Horn was, right. was worth the climb. Shoot your awesome. mouth words out of it and it comes back. Damn. It's crazy. It, and it comes back and it says something different than what right. you said. It's so it's a good bizarre. workout. Bring some water. Lots of water. Probably bring a power bar or something. Right. Bring a friend. Tell look a good friend. too, because there's lots of people to look good for. Oh man, there are a lot of people on this trail on right. a weekday. Right. Don't mess up our planet. We won't mess up your earth.